Hey there and welcome to the now demi video tutorial series of JavaScript. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing variables in JavaScript and some rules for declaring variable in JavaScript with some code examples. Uh, we will be also discussing alert method, console.log, prompt method and also confirm method. So before going ahead, uh, we should know what is JavaScript. Uh, like any other programming languages, a variable contains in a JavaScript, a variable contains a value such as hello or any uh, 5 or 10 or something else. When you use the variable, you refer to the data it represents. For example, if I want to calculate uh, this, both of these values, I will store this value somewhere in a container. So uh, for this purposes, I will need a variable in order to locate this uh, values inside that variable. So this, uh, see this variable will become a container or a storage location for both of these uh, values or data. So uh, I will call this variable inside an alert function and I will uh, call that inside browser and this uh, browser will uh, alert a message with this value. So uh, for this purpose, we use variables in order to contain or to storage or to store some data inside that. In JavaScript variables, we look at some rules before declaring or initializing any variable. Like JavaScript variables cannot have space between a, a variable and this cannot uh, have uh, special characters uh, at the starting point. This also cannot have a digit or any number from 0 to 9. Uh, JavaScript uh, variables are cache sensitive, so we cannot say that uh, the first name with uh, this first name are uh, same. Both of these variables are uh, uh, different and they have different storage, uh, different data. So uh, JavaScript variables cannot be also uh, initialized or started with uh, a, any reserved word in a JavaScript like uh, any document uh, variable with document or any alert or with a word, a word of object. We cannot where declare variable in a JavaScript like this with some reserved word because these words are reserved inside a JavaScript. So this will create a problem for us. This will create uh, generate an error. So this was the uh, uh, simple example of rules in a JavaScript before declaring a variable or initializing variable. Now we will look at that how we uh, create or uh, how do we create, initialize or declare a variable. First of all, JavaScript variable is always uh, declared with the var keyword and then the variable name is and then equals sign and some values uh, that are contained uh, by the variable name. And uh, if I want to uh, uh, print this variable, this value to the browser, I will say alert and the variable name. So this is a simple example of a variable uh, creating or initializing or declaring a variable. First of all, uh, I will uh, check how many ways of variables that we can declare or initialize. Uh, I will if I say var x and I say then x equals to 10. So what is happening here? Uh, first of all, I have declared this variable above and then I have initialized some data to this variable. Now this uh, x contains this data of 10 and if I call this uh, variable with uh, alert function, then it will also alert the value of 10 exactly. So uh, this uh, uh, declaring variable and then initializing variables is same as this. Both of the methods are same and it will generate the same output. So uh, be, uh, first, uh, first we declare a variable then we assign some data to that variable that is called initialization of any variable and we also can have multiple variables inside a single line like x, y or z. 
then we uh, assign some data to that x equals to Soha y equals to Zara and then z equals to Zoya. So this is the way of another way of declaring variable then assigning some data to that variables uh, uh, in a JavaScript. This is the another way. Now we will look at uh, Java concatenation of a variables with some strings or with numbers like var first name with underscore we can create a variable with underscore sign we can uh, put this underscore sign at the starting of the variable this is a valid way of declaring variable so i will say the first name equals to zoha var another variable and the last name equals to go and if I want to concat both of these variables, I will say I will store these uh, two variables inside uh, the third variable like var full name. Let me tell you that this variable is a type of the camel case camel case variable. Now I will assign uh, uh, this uh, variable values of these variables. And I will concat this variables with in and will store this variable inside this third variable is called full name. So first name and I will put some uh, space between and then the second variable is last last name. I will put the result to the browser or to the console.log. I will uh, differentiate between all these uh, methods console.log, alert, and confirm or prompt uh, later. And now I will say that full name. Now see, this uh, the console.log displayed the results Doha good because both of these variables are being concatenated with one another and the result is stored with the, in, inside the third variable. So this was a simple example of variables and concatenation of string or uh, variables. Now we will look at uh, the methods like confirm, uh, alert, concert.log or prompt. So first of all, I will uh, look at the alert method. I will say that I can calculate is this variable inside an alert function, alert method like a plus b and it will display the result of 30 now what uh, we can understand that uh, what alert method uh, does this uh, alert and message whatever we put inside its body now look uh, this was a simple example of alert now we will look console method, console method. I will put a simple message inside console.log method I will say the header this message is from console window console uh, is a window object and dot log is a also object console is a window that uh, dot log is a object of this window so we put uh, a variable inside this uh, not variable but a simple string inside this console dot log method now go to the console and check for the result here is the output hey there this message is from the console window so this is a simple introduction to the console method. Now go on, let's uh, check the from method. What from method does? I will say that var takes equals to empty. 
I will store some data later inside this variable. So I have declared this, I initialize this variable empty with some empty string and I will say that Y result equals to from uh, enter your name. I can say that enter your name here and then I will put the name uh, here later. So I will call now the variable of result because. Uh, this is a uh, simple variable that is that is empty string contains empty string and this is a result variable another variable that will store the result of this method if we uh, entered any data inside this from method what does from method do from uh, from method takes an input from the users and uh, output to the browser so this uh, this will take some data from this user and will they store this data to this variable now we will uh, output this variable to the browser so i will call so this is the previous variables now i will say that my name is now here is the result uh, the user uh, input is been printed to the uh, console.log window this was the another example of uh, uh, from very from method uh, in a side of JavaScript. Uh, now we will look at confirm uh, confirm what. Now we will look at the confirm method inside a JavaScript. What confirm method do? The confirm method displays a specified message in a dialog box containing an OK and a cancel button. A confirm box is used to accept or verifying something from the users, like confirm. And uh, put some message inside this, uh, like print, uh, print some message. Okay, so this is the confirm box window. I if I say cancel, it will become false, and if I click on the okay, it will be true. It will result as true. So now I have a P paragraph or a tag. Click the button to display a confirm box, and I also have a button uh, containing on click function uh, that is named my function, uh, and I also have a paragraph uh, that has ID demo. I've called the function, I've created a function uh, here and a variable inside this X, uh, and I have uh, we'll create a, another variable in order to store the result of this confirm box. So, if I say the variable uh, r equals to true, then it will say that x will store this uh, message you press ok as in the, this x will store you press can, cancel. And, and this document dot get element by id and this is the name of this id we have uh, above. Uh, with a p a paragraph tag and this dot n dot inner html equals to x this inner html will uh, uh, get data from this p and will assign to this x i will click on ok and it results as you press ok if i click on the cancel it will say that you press cancel so in this tutorial, we have discussed creation of variables, some rules of variables with some code examples and how many ways we can create variables, how can we can get some variables uh, with one another. We discussed alert function, uh, console.log, uh, from method and also we have discussed in this tutorial the confirm box method uh, with some two of the code examples. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.